Good morning, good day, and good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all races, ages, gender, sexual orientations, religions, etc. In the midst of me working on another video, I realized that I need to do more research on the topic since I'd prefer to release more complete and accurate information. I then remembered the research on the comic characters I've had since 2022 that I said I would be working on in the lead up to their respective shows and movies. Specifically, Moon Knight and The Batman. When will those be released? Who knows? Stick around and find out. But with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. This video was going to be about a minor character in Marvel Comics who was a friend of Moon Knight. If you want to know who that guy is, Give this video a look. You may just like it and want to subscribe. While Moon Knight shared many friendships and worked with a multitude of heroes in history, one friend stood by his side since his mercenary days. I'm talking, of course, about Jean-Paul Duchamp. You may be wondering, who is this random guy? And how did he form a friendship with Moon Knight? Well... Jean-Paul Frenchy Duchamp was a French man who was romantically involved with a woman by the name of Isabelle Christelle. Little did he know, Christelle would be a secret agent for the French intelligence agency known as the Directorate General for External Security. He would later join the French Foreign Legion. After spending some time in the unit, he would leave to become a soldier of fortune. Duchamp would meet and befriend Mark Spector while operating in Africa as a pilot on their missions. It was through their friendship that Mark nicknamed Duchamp Frenchy. On one particular mission, the two would come across mercenary and terrorist Raoul Bushman. Through Bushman's guidance, the trio would lead themselves to Africa, where Bushman led a raid to rob the tomb of Pharaoh Seti II, which was discovered by Dr. Peter Alron. Bushman would later murder Alron, leading to Mark assaulting him, though Bushman would be the one to pulverize Mark into a vicious beatdown. That nigga's dead. Being held at gunpoint and witnessing Bushman order his men to kill the remaining crew of the raid, Duchamp would be forced to leave his friend behind in the desert despite initial resistance. Even though he was left for dead, Mark would find his way back to Duchamp and the two would mount an assault against Bushman. Following their first encounter with Bushman, Duchamp would become Moon Knight's partner in heroics as he would pilot and design Moon Knight's helicopter. Duchamp would be helpful in helping Moon Knight in his first big assignment as a protector of New York along with other adventures. Later in his life, Isabel will find him in the United States. Their reunion would be short-lived as six days after they met, she would be murdered by a drug dealer, Cajun Creed, for a drug shipment gone wrong. Duchamp would seek vengeance on the criminal by first heading to New Orleans as a pirate with Moon Knight accompanying him as himself. Duchamp would finally get some revenge on Creed. Despite being badly wounded from a gunshot wound and Moon Knight beating up Creed, Duchamp would hit him with the right hook and knock him unconscious. Two days later, Duchamp would travel to Paris to give his condolences to Isabel by leaving a rose on her grave. Following this, the two would return back to New York. Duchamp would continue to assist Moon Knight in his heroics as well as date Chloe Tran. Duchamp would be in more dangerous adventures as he would encounter the likes of Punisher, Flag Smasher, The Secret Empire, Killer Shrine, and Hobgoblin. One incident would leave him with his legs crushed and another would leave him in a wheelchair after being further injured due to an explosion. After some time, Chloe would reveal herself to be a member of Knights Templar, an ancient organization whose goal is to defeat a race of demons known as Hellbent. 
It was revealed to Duchamp that he was a member of the bloodline. Therefore, he was able to transform into and gain the powers of any of his ancestors. While being attacked by Seth the Immortal, his powers were only partially activated due to his injuries. Despite this, he was able to defeat the Hellbent. Duchamp would later reveal to Mark that he was gay and that he was attracted to Mark for some time. He would become romantically involved with his physical therapist, Rob Silverman. In more recent times, Duchamp would later work as a major D in his own restaurant. Thank you for watching this video. I actually find it funny that I still have the research I used for this video over two years later. Maybe one day I'll release them all. Until then, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Make good decisions. And have a wonderful rest of your day.